I can, you'll need to speak up though, because I can't hear you. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> Me speaking up. I thought it was you trying to puke. I'm recording audio, right? Yeah. If that's what you can <laughs> call it. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, it didn't. Wow. Because I have the levels set at a reasonable <laughs> level. So if I just start clucking like a chicken, it won't break. Possibly. It may. Stop trying to make it clip because it didn't. You'll clip. break Final Cut. Uh, actually, that will make Orphonic have a bit of a hissy fit. Yeah. You, you maybe cut that bit out because <laughs> otherwise Orphonic will go. Oh, you're you're really loud and and make everything else really quiet. I'm gonna deliberately leave it in just to make your job harder. Hello Internet, I'm Fireball. And I'm the Orbiter. And welcome to 60 Seconds Part 2. Last time... Welcome back. We managed to survive for about a month in a nuclear fallout shelter. In, Why is there a bag of feces on our doorstep? I'm assuming it's a bag of mail. Oh, of course, because Royal Mail's still working, or would it be USPS? I don't know, but like, there's a bike there, so I'm assuming that's like a paper boy. And a huge dismembered hand stuck to the window. Dismembered hand? Oh, <laughs> That's a mouse. Anyway, uh, today you will be reading out all the stuff so Ooh. I can leave in all your fun you the um, Can you do the controlling though? Because my shoulder hurts. Yeah. And I'm closer to the mouse. Cool. New game. Continue. Now, I will actually. 60 parsecs. I will actually. Not 60 parsecs, just 60. I'm just reading out what's on the screen you told me to. I will actually remember a bit of what happened because I was editing this yesterday. Uh, so right now we are very sick. Uh, so we could die within like literally days Day of this. Day 32. In the nuclear fallout Day 32. Oh no, I can't do it. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah, so Mary Jane, who turned into a bit of a mutant, if you don't remember. She yeah, thought... but wasn't she rather awesome though? She was kind of resistant to everything, wasn't she? I did actually find that she wasn't because we did have to feed her when she first became a mutant. So I All think right. that's just been chance that she hasn't needed anything since. But she needs to come back with medical supplies otherwise we're going to die and the game will be over. And we'll have to do a third run of this and hope that we get out relatively quickly or we okay. die relatively quickly. Day 32. Hopefully the time to leave will come soon. Either we get Ted Medicine or we never see him eat another can of soup. Hurry. I thought I said hooray then. <laughs> Yay. Time to ration supplies. Nobody needs What's supplies. Left? We got a can of soup, two bottles of water. A can of soup? A can. Okay. Can you? And a Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Sorry. And a little bit extra there. Dolores we sent out into the wasteland because she was really sick and we <laughs> just had to send someone out. Timmy didn't make it into the shelter. We don't speak of Timmy. The cat's been staring intently at our supplies all day. Its eyes are piercing. You can practically feel the tension rising in our shelter as well as a sense of danger. This must be how cats communicate that it's time to eat. Should we share some supplies with our furry friend? Is he going to try and eat us? I mean, cats do eat their dead owners. You find that with like, old people that have got loads of cats. Yeah. And they die without anyone really noticing how and then you know their cats eat them. I don't know. A lot of people don't like cats, so they tend to say that sort of stuff. And it's true. Yeah, I, I saw somebody else has done a series of this and there was a cat lady... Um, branch of the storyline that, that seems to be a bit difficult where they basically just get a shelter full of cats oh god <laughs> we only have one can of soup i don't feel entirely confident with that because if he needs food and mary jane doesn't get back you're gonna soon, eat soup anyway you let the cat in oh it's my fault is it that the cat's but it did at. find some poison so give it the poison i don't think we have the poison anymore should we give it the soup not if we need it let's, let's hope it doesn't it's, claw it's our, our eyes let's risk it's wrath I mean, he does not look like he could stand up to a cat right now. The end. I think the cat killed us or we died of sickness. We literally died a day into this recording. If it's hungry, it can just go outside and hunt some mutant rodents or insects. We just can't allow the cat to eat a whole can of soup. It looked angry, but there was no retaliation. Not yet, anyway. Mary Jane was supposed to be back in a few days. It's been too long. We fear something bad has happened to her. Ted has been sick for far too long and he was too weak to keep on going. He passed away in his sleep. Okay, so on to attempt. At least we didn't get killed by the cat. There's other people, though, that, like I said, that have done a series of these. They've got, like, part 30-something, and you think, they must have kept going for quite a few days. To... Well, I think they do loads of attempts. We didn't make it. These are our final words. Happens. And our advice to anyone who reads this is... Obscured writing. We spent 33 days in our shelter. Day one, three of... Do I have to read all that out? 
Nuclear fallout's gone, blah, 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 blah. Made contact with the military. Hmm. That was just... Well, they never came to save us, did they? Well, no, because we didn't have a flashlight when we needed it. Missed the army plane. Hmm. That would have been handy, wouldn't it? Mm. Trojan horse, blah, blah. There and back again. There's a Hobbit reference for you. Feast for the beast. Perished. Great. Try again, then. Yeah. Uh, so do you want to scavenge this time, or do you want me to do that again? Um, probably be easier if you did it, wouldn't it? And we have a bunch of stats here. 33 days, is that good? You've played it before. Uh, I think the longest I lasted was 40 days and I still didn't get help. Okay. While we do the collection of stuff, would it make sense to try and prioritise something that we can signal to a plane with? Why did we the miss The two plane? important parts... I didn't realise the flashlight was that important. Flashlight's the important thing there. The other important thing is to get the map, because then if they need your coordinates, you can give them that. Right, okay. We just need to gather better, I think, but then we miss out on supplies, so just hope I can do it. I would, but you're probably going to be better at it, are you not? Or we can get a med kit. Run, we have a run, quick, quick! Did that start at like 12 seconds or something? And that started at 10, so that's just the time that we have to look around before oh, we right, get okay. to collect stuff. First aid, Timmy... Can you only carry two things at once? Oh, that's the once? bathroom. Shit. You can I do this? carry four things at once, but some of them take up more space. That's not even that Chess important, board. but... Grab the yeah, wife. Grab it, down the hole. <sighs> You're so nice. Oh, radio, radio, radio. Briefcase. Get the bong. Get the bomb. The bong. Gas mask. And the guitar. Uh, <laughs> gun. I can't see map or anything anywhere. I have to do this last bit really quickly. Get some food really quickly. Come on. This is supposed to be the last run, I think. You think? Yeah, I'm not going to make it now. I think we got more that time. Mm, more that useful time. stuff, but like, I don't know how much water and food we actually got. Um, so. We didn't get the daughter. No, but we left Timmy behind last time, so it's only fair. We can't pick That's papers. Extent, I suppose, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, we got a nice water. bit of uh, soup there, but we really don't have enough water. Like, that is too little water. Okay. Uh, we don't well, have a map or a flashlight, so... Um, Kind of fucked if we need the military to notice us. Well, we found a lock though. Okay, day one, almost all of us made it to the shelter. Almost. All we can do now is start thinking of creative ways to serve our canned soup. We can't remember bringing those supplies down to the shelter, but we're not complaining. We probably should have stocked it better anyway. Good thing we grabbed that suitcase. What we found inside will definitely prove useful. So we got a lock from that. Our shelves are full of cans, we'll eat from cans, we'll sleep on cans, we'll even talk to cans. Some of us already do. There's just barely enough water for everyone. We will have to ration it strictly. No one needs anything right now. We've got way too much soup, but really not enough That's water. Fine. It'd be alright if we get another cat then. We decided to have some fun today and play a game or two. The first one was picking the game we're going to play. This took us most of the day and we still haven't made up our minds. Um, Got a little picture of Mary Jane there. Who's now dead, presumably. Probably. I mean, she might have become a mutant. Oh. Already getting stuck. Was that a knock at the door? Oh, it is. We played truth or dare, like you do. When it turned out we only kept asking questions and the most common was, are we going to eat anything besides tomato soup? We decided that's enough games for now. Nothing new to report on Timmy. You don't have to read all the okay that. with Dolores. Everyone's fine, basically. Yeah. That's just telling you whether they need food or okay. water. Let, let's not go out right now. Yeah. We need to wait until okay. it's a little safer. But yep. we really could do with some water. Dokali, dokali. What's that sound? A galloping hood? It sounded like somebody knocking on the door. We rushed yes. to the door, greeted by two men from a medieval I swear fair. swear this is very similar to our last run, but... Source of the sound. Oh, two rocks and hitting them against each other, yeah. What did we do last time? Uh, I think we... I don't think we have a map, and they got annoyed at us with didn't oh, do yeah. anything, so... We didn't have a map then, we don't have a map now, so... Did, really we do. didn't, did we? Are they knocking again? Someone else is knocking, maybe. But at least we have first aid this time, and a gas mask. They were clearly offended, they galloped away, cutting down shrubberies, absolutely crazy. Get to me something to drink. All of them need water. Mm. I haven't really got a lot left. No, but... Can't we just, like, drink tomato soup and pretend yeah, that's Yeah, soup's water. got water in it, hasn't it? Yeah, but I don't think that counts. Um, um, still unsafe. It says Timmy can go to the wasteland. Yeah, everyone can go to the wasteland, but like, it's still unsafe. Okay, unless you don't mind getting sick. 
We All right, then. best not getting sick because we want to save that for when we really need okay, it. Okay, then. Halloween <laughs> doctor. No, outfits. we are not wasting a bottle okay. of water. Uh, they're asking us if we have any spare hydrogen peroxide. Isn't that for bleaching your hair? No, that's water. I thought hydrogen peroxide was what peroxide blondes use for bleaching their hair. See, no, that's not water. No, that's hydrogen dioxide, isn't it? Well, yeah. no, dihydrogen oxide. I don't know. Yeah, well, they're wrong then. But no, we don't. We don't want to get them water because like, then we'll just have a quarter bottle of water left and we'll die if we use that. So pretty confident in not giving them this because yeah. they'll only be giving us soup or something else in supply. But really, we just need the water back. Okay, let's go then. Day four. What is this scam? They're not even real doctors. No way we're giving these crooks anything. Nothing new going on with Everyone's Timmy. Fine. Well, if we're all all right at the moment, we really need the water. I thought it said everyone's fine. Yeah, everyone's fine, but we still need water. Yeah. But they won't be fine when they come back. Like, they're in good enough condition that they probably will come back, but they'll be sick when they Who do. Who should we send, then? Who's well, going to recover quickly? Should we send someone? You seem to think we should be sending someone because we're going to need water. Are we going to be, be better nice off going another day without water, or risking the wasteland? Risk, risk the wasteland. Timmy can go. <laughs> good health and full of optimism, he may as well go. <laughs> I want cake. Yes. Top it. You told me I didn't have to. We keep dreaming about those little things we did back in the day when there weren't as many bombs falling down, not on our heads anyway. You only don't have to read it, but it's just like the daily report of whether they need anything. Well, how do I know if that's that then? Because that's before you ration out supplies. But what's this? Is this the daily report? If it's like has a list of things, that, like th these three paragraphs are just for the people, the top bit. So which bit do I have to read out? The top bit. Okay. Fond memories are one thing, but we need to be ready for harsh reality that awaits us. I didn't see what the rest of it said. No, that was it. This is just the telling them what they, how they are. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Timmy is being very brave, though. Uh, isn't he going outside? Yeah. So. Oh, no, fuck off, Timmy. So you could brave when you come back. You can take... Does he need anything else? What is the hand? That's just, like, empty. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think we're it's more likely to need the first aid yeah. lock and radio here than mm. with him. Is the briefcase empty? The briefcase is just to let you carry more things. Yeah. Because otherwise you can only carry one thing. Uh, but he'll be able to defend himself and not die from, like, gas poisoning or anything. Yeah. It Day is. six. Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what he'll do if he doesn't come back. Dolores. They both need water, mm. but yeah. now we only have two mouths. Come back with some water, Timmy. We heard something about supply drops on the radio. This might be what we need to survive, and it's supposed to happen near our house. Shall we go out and find out if it's really happening? Uh, we just sent the gas mask away. This game is fucking cruel, I swear yeah. it knows. Yeah, let's go out and find out. We can't. Why not? Because we don't have a gas mask, we just sent it away with Timmy. Is the air not breathable at the moment? No. Well, he's out there, so hopefully he might pick up no. the supply drop. No, because we, we only know this from the radio. I know, but... The game anyway, doesn't it was do too that. dangerous to go without the weather without any protection, so listen to the radio, static is so relaxing. Blah, 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 blah. Ute's getting hungry now. He can have some soup, can he? Yeah, well, we've got plenty to spare. Yes, he can. Ha. But, yeah. Surviving down here is no walk in the park. It won't get easier. We're hopeful this will blow over soon and life will be back to what it used to be, or else we might face dangers we've never dreamt of. Survive the week. Easy to feel a bit down when living underground like this. No sunshine, no sky. Need to get rid of that pessimism. Ted's fine. Uh, Dolores should we give Dolores some, some soup? Yeah, one minute. I wish we could just leave. Sitting down here with barely anything to do is driving us crazy. So how long is it until we can go outside without a gas mask, or do you just need it whenever you go outside? The radio tends to tell you. Right, okay. I think it's around day nine or eight. Being like, oh, uh, Timmy's back. What's he brought with him? An axe. Ooh, some water by the looks of it. Not a lot, though. It does not look good, though. I think he might be sick. I like the way she's still got her pinafore on. Do we have to take care of ourselves or will someone come to our rescue? He's come back from the wasteland, Timmy has, and he's safe with us now. We were cautiously exploring the neighbourhood when we got cornered by a scary looking thug with a shotgun. The odds went in our favour until a crate fell out of the sky and dropped right down on the bandit. Excellent timing, government aid. Ha, so he did get the drop. Oh, <laughs> someone forgot to fill the water crate with something to soften the fall. As a result, most of the bottles were shattered. Luckily, a few of them survived. That should be enough to keep us going for a bit. Two isn't a few. Two's a couple. We think a box we found was intended for a colony of lumberjacks. It was full of axes. We took one. Damn it, we really <laughs> like that suitcase. What is gone now? Let's give Timmy something to eat and Dolores something to drink. 
And Ted needs to drink as well. Uh, okay, well, yeah, go on then. But we got uh, a nut of water for now. Ring, ring. There we were, thinking we would never hear a telephone signal again, when suddenly a phone starts ringing from somewhere outside. We figured it's the phone booth across the street. Should someone go answer it? Flores. Yeah, go on, send her out. Timmy's sick. Go answer well, Timmy's phone. tired, and we're us, so self-preservation and all that. She's back. She's fine. When we answered the phone, we could hardly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We had started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope they'll get back to us. We were glad to see Dolores come back. Let's feed Timmy. They use up a lot of supplies when they get back, but we got enough soup, and I think it's mostly food that they need okay. when they get back. It looks like the area's still irradiated. Okay, so whoever goes out is going to need the gas mask again. At least we've still got that. Um, um, yeah. Is it worth it? I think, yeah, probably. Should we send her out? Yeah. We stumbled upon the remains of a bandit shanty town. Someone or something tore it down. Incidentally, amidst the rubble, we found a cat licking its paws, nonchalantly surrounded by blood and dismembered limbs. As we made our way back to the shelter, the cat followed. We can now hear its paws impatiently scratching our hatch. Should we let it inside? Mm. You thought perhaps not. Well, Are that we was the cat in the bag, but... Nah, let's, let's leave it outside. Let's be cruel. The cat can fend for itself. Look, it's eating limbs. Yeah, it might turn into some kind of monster now. Day turn 11. into, it's a cat. True. We're all fine. Uh, but we start doodling on the walls by the looks of things. We don't need any more mouths to feed. Also, cats can't be trusted, especially in these troubled times. Um, creature went away. Timmy should eat something and some water as well. Dolores is quite calm, so give Timmy some food and water. Typical bloody teenager. I think he's like nine. <laughs> this is a good day to go outside, stretch a bit, get some fresh toxic air, scavenge a thing or two. Now, we are only allowed to take one more thing because he lost a briefcase, so oh, I would well. say gas mask. Probably, yeah, it's probably important to come back alive, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> Um, Dolores and right to the surface. Head needs some water. More water. But again, less mouse to feed when someone's on an expedition. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in, but we'll have to leave eventually. It would be good to head straight to safety instead of getting ourselves into more trouble if that's even possible. We want brave soldiers to come to the rescue. Take us to a well hidden, well stopped government shelter. Timmy had comics about those. All we need to do is make contact with the military. How would we do that? Radio. It's not a transmitting radio, though, is it? I don't know. Day but 13. it might just be that we need to get contact from the military to Maybe. us. So we need to know what to do. But we have nothing, I think, that we no. could signal back to them. We knew it. The government has not fallen and they're coming to save us. They won't keep us waiting long. They said they'll be in touch in a couple of days. Told us to await further instructions. Ted's stomach is rumbling, right? Ted, eat something. We know very little about what's going Radio. on outside. Maybe That's discover if anyone else made it to safety. Is that you snoring? No. Did somebody snore in my ear? Well, yes, but I don't know who. We were able to get a weak signal. Um, guess what great news? The full out outside is mostly gone. He's not looking well. Give him a drink. Drink. Timmy. Yeah, Timmy. We don't have a huge amount left. Drink, but. Timmy. We've discussed everything we could, and no one is willing to chat anymore. Science is really serving. We should do something before we start talking to us. Um, they still play music out there. Ted needs water. It's not giving you an option to make another expedition, is it? We're still waiting for Dolores to yeah. come back. God, she's taking her time. Well, she's out did. clothes shopping. You'd expect a nuclear explosion would be enough to quench any petty arguments. And the future's not looking too pretty, and all you see is naked walls. Not much is necessary for an explosion. It happened. We started fighting like crazy. Oh, shit, and there's a gun in there as well. And an axe. Oh, yeah. Day 16. Is she back? Both alive. What did she bring? More soup. A broken she gas mask. And we don't really need it anymore, do we? <laughs> well, we're not going to die of starvation. We could barely sleep after all that arguing. Let's hope this... Pardon me, won't happen again. We were glad to see Dolores come back safely from the wasteland. During our expedition, we stumbled across a half-ruined wall with some half-burnt painting on it. We quickly realised we found the ruins of our local museum. Normally, we would never enter an establishment like that without a ticket, but desperate times call for... I can't read desperate. it if you don't... Desperate measures. We jumped over the turn still. What's a turn still without looking back? We were hoping for some sweets or snacks, but all the museum canteen had to offer was tomato soup. Those poor, poor tourists. The half-ruined wall is all that's left of the main corridor. Some paintings are still hanging, but they're almost unrecognisable. At the end of the corridor, we found a museum guard sitting on a chair, or at least something that used to be a museum guard. We found some ammo in his pocket, or at least something that used to be his pocket. 
damn it. Our gas mask was damaged during the expedition. Give us some food. Well, at least we've got plenty of food, but we could really do with some water. I think it's Ted's turn, isn't it? But he's the main character, and he, if he dies, we're fat. Uh, oh, a leather suitcase. During the night, we heard some suspicious sounds coming from behind our door. When we peeked out in the morning, we saw a leather suitcase. It has no address or name on it, but we're pretty sure it's meant for us. Should we open it? Last time this happened, inside was poisoned water and Dolores got sick. Yeah, but do, do we get to keep the suitcase? I don't know. Because we might be able to... I mean, even if we find water, water in it, do we have to drink? Oh, excuse me. Yes. Do we have to drink They'll it? They'll automatically <laughs> drink it if, it has got, if it's the same thing. Okay, well, I'm not sure if it's like then. a dice roll. Let's hope it's a dice roll, whether it is or not. Because we're opening it. <laughs> well, we got a first aid kit. If all else fails, day seventeen. Gift. Quick. That looks like more water. There's no such thing as too much water nowadays. We inspected it thoroughly after taking it out of the suitcase, but it looks absolutely harmless and purified. We hope we get to meet this generous stranger one day and thank him or her personally for keeping our family well hydrated. Give Timmy some food and water then. At least he'll die if... Uh, uh, oh, and Dolores. Did you say at least he'll die? Yeah, we need to make a choice for today's ex expedition. Yeah, it's going to be him, isn't it? Well, you had to be... What's he taking? Axe. So you can take a gun, but no ammo. Yeah, <laughs> axe, I would say. Okay. Hopefully there's not poisonous gas out Day there. Day 18. They both look tired as shit. And what is that down there? Uh, an empty bottle. All right. Timmy nice. might not look like it. He's a strong young boy. He's doing just fine. Dolores, why do you have to eat and drink? I suppose you did just come back from the wasteland. Yeah. A sleazy looking trader carrying an equal nope. scruffy No, nope. no, it's got a cat in it. It's got a cat in it. <laughs> I know it's got a cat in it, so fuck you, we're not giving you soup. Actually, okay. we've got a lot of soup. Should we may as well just take the chance? Is the cat gonna do us any good at all? Well, they did find poison last time. Okay, go on then. We can spare soup, can't we? I've no and idea how much soup we've got. Feeding, we've got more soup. We've got a massive box there. There's the cat. Hello, cat. As soon as the door closed behind the trader, the bag started to violently shake, emitting screeching hellish sounds, terrified back against the walls. When the beast finally escaped, it turned out to be just an angry house cat. Is there any other sort? The feline gave us a menacing look and promptly sat down in the corner to clean itself. Its collar says Sharikov. Is that its name? Playing a game or two might be a good way to relieve the mood and take our minds off the problems of today and tomorrow. And hey, playing games is good for you, so why not give it a try every now and then? Why not? Day 20, we played I Spy and it was pretty fun for the first three minutes. After that, everyone got bored of the letter W. We w. can't leave Timothy, Timmy without water for too long. Ted, please come back. Oh, Some door-to-door -door salesman found his way to our shelter. We remember him from before the apocalypse. He came over with a bunch of leaflets and tried to convince us to join something called Astro Citizen, but we refused. Now he just wants, wants supplies and he says he'll reveal some state secrets to us in return. What's Astro Citizen? That's the other game. Such yeah. Should we give him soup? What does that um, sound too rubbish? Go on then. We are generous, so we shared our supplies with him. He tried to make us believe that America has a working space station in orbit. Or rather had, since according to that guy, it exploded when the bombs dropped. How convenient. A working space station. What a joker. He was probably so hungry and dehydrated, his brain started playing tricks on him. Give some Dolores some water. Come back, Ted. We're closed off in a tiny shelter and our supplies are very limited. If we want to survive, it's time for desperate measures. We know there's a group of elderly people hiding in the ruins of the local retirement home. They must have some supplies, and in our opinion, we need them more. The well-being of your family is the most important thing in the world, right? Should we kill the pensioners? We've got guns, we could. But should we? Well, yeah, why not? Because it's morally wrong, but okay. Ooh, look at all that water. Ooh, we had to do this for the family. It had to be done. We really don't want to mention it again. How about we talk about something else? Soup, perhaps. Today, the music from the radio stopped abruptly and instead we got to listen to a transmission from the army. We were almost halfway to the door when they started talking about evacuation, but it turns out there's something we need to do first. All survivors were asked to leave a sign that we're alive somewhere in the area. The exact location was given in geographical coordinates. We need a map to establish where that is. Let's hope Ted's found one then. But we're not going to... Like, it's going to be too late. There's also a bloody handprint on the wall there. Document. We were sure we could find the location without a map. We were wrong. Hopefully we'll get lucky next time. While playing in the shelter, Sharikov stumbled upon a small wooden box that was hidden behind some loose bricks. It contained some useless memorabilia and a can of old bug spray. Timmy should eat something. Just food and water. Ah. Sharikov is still a fresh addition to our little family, so we need to keep an eye on it. And believe it or not, just today we noticed something else on its collar. It seems to be a metal plate with an address on it, and it's not far. 
Should we take a quick trip and see what's there? I don't remember getting anything out this trip. Well, why would the cat have, unless... Well, we've this done this before one. and I don't remember getting anything No. Out, but may as well not. Day 24. Let's oh, head back. We all look kind of in bad shape. Well, except um, for Timmy, maybe he'll survive. The cat made a choice to stay here and we'll respect it. Truth be told, if the previous owner cared about the cat at all, they wouldn't have let it run away. Maybe they weren't very good people. Maybe they weren't very alive after the nuke dropped. Either way, very careless. Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. It might sound paranoid, but we think someone followed us. Let's just hope this doesn't happen again. We set off an expedition to the nearby zoo we used to visit on weekends. We're happy to report that it was a productive supply run as well as an educational trip. We saw pterodact whales, chimpanzees, a porcupony, a small army of catroaches, and other majestic creatures that have emerged among the post-nuclear fauna. A friendly-looking crabtopomus lazily observed the sea life section from a distance, and it's then we found the body of a zoo worker with some of his possessions laying around. Well, soup. We returned from the expedition, but our ex didn't make it. Give Dolores a drink. And Ted needs... Some food. Yeah. Seems awfully quiet outside. Oh, Timmy can go out. Sure, great. Need I think we might make it past day 33 this time. Might do. Guess what? We already got ourselves our very own fallout garden. We've got a bunch of mushrooms. Don't eat them. They're big enough to be eaten. Don't eat them. <laughs> we'll just get sick. We'll waste a med kit. Okay. I know how tempting it is to we've go got, on a wild We've got trip. plenty of soup anyway. Oh, he's tired now, so he won't be able to go, I don't think. Maybe hungry, but there's just some things we'll never eat. All fungus is one of them. Dolores and Ted need eat. food. To take Dolores oh, because sh- he's tired now. Can can two of them go? Can he- her yeah, and Timmy go? Yeah, they can go, both go. Oh no, they can't actually. No, okay. The gun's useless without ammo. I would recommend taking the bug spray then. Maybe. Yeah. No, take the gun. I think you can still use it without ammo. Can you? Weird. I'm not sure. <laughs> she might find some ammo. I think it'll have some ammo already in it. In it, right, okay. Was he thirsty as well? I didn't yeah. get to the bottom because you... Turn the page. The wasteland is full of surprises, like this man on the other side of our door knocking and claiming that he's willing to offer a lot for decent ammunition. Shall we try? See, we shouldn't have taken that. Mm, see what he's got. Don't see anything extra. Please open the thing, because that knocking's... Our visitor was happy to get some ammunition. In return, he offered us rations. It wasn't much, but something is always better than nothing. We always steered away from casinos, gambling dens, and the like, so when a man came to our door and told us he used to be a gambler, we were suspicious. He invited us to play a game. He proposed a two-water bottle bet in a card game of our choice. No, card, so it's not really a choice. Gambling is a terrible habit. What kind of example is that to set the kids? We need supplies, but we're not getting them like that. We'd sooner rob someone. We sent that man away. Good riddance. Nothing new to report on Timmy. We're all right. We've been hearing some soft, scratchy noises in the shelter at night. We thought it was just the wind, but we were wrong. It's the cat. It's not really doing anything naughty. It seems like it just squeezes through some holes in the wall and makes its way outside. We're not sure where it goes during these secret trips, but every morning it's back in the shelter like nothing happened. Should we follow it next time it sneaks out? Should we? May as well. Yeah, why not? Give something to do, on it? Not how the cat survived. Sherikov took us to an old junkyard that's inhabited only by a lone resident, a self-proclaimed scientist living in an old bus converted into a lab to conduct his experiments. The doc seemed happy to have his pet back, although the cat showed no enthusiasm at the prospect. We exchanged some small talk, but truth be told, we were kind of in a hurry to get out of there. The scientist didn't seem completely sane. He mentioned something about escaping the wasteland in a spaceship. Timmy's hungry, and some water, Thank and you, water. water. Oh. oh, what did you do? I, I skipped it by accident. I don't think there was What was it? There. Day 30. It was just, yeah. <clears throat> we tried humming our favourite songs and practising simple harmonies, but singing Ooh, a cappella is a skill neither of us have ever mastered. We also tried having an animated conversation and somehow ended up even more bored than before. Maybe Dolores is right to silence us all the time. What, she brought back a, an extra gun? No, she just brought back oh, the gun right, that she okay. took. We believe that our expedition to the wasteland must have been followed by strangers. We should be more cautious next time. What was that? Is it a bird? Is it a stockbroker? Is it the bicycle? repairman no it's the aid airdrop that was an excellent time to leave the bunker in search of supplies one of the food drops broke in midair and now it's raining soup luckily for us a few cans survived the fall we're not having any problem with food this time are we no we've got all the extra water as well why did they drop a crate full of rubber ducks at least one of the smaller crates had a few water bottles in it that's cool we forced one of the boxes open and found an impressive collection of stinky cheese and a gas mask. Yeah. We discovered that eating with a gas mask on your face is not ideal, and since we, since we value our lives and our noses, we decided to take the mask and leave the cheese behind. Doris needs food. But I think we've got plenty of supplies, to be honest. Well, actually, we could do with a mat. Yeah. Actually, you know, Timmy's really tired. He's got a chance to get back. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that not does have two pods of... Let's just try and ride it out for a day or two. It's not easy to be calm in these circumstances. Hopefully we'll keep our peace or else we might need to act like wolves. Survival of the fittest and all. Day 31. 
really we might beat our record. Yeah. We're trying our best to remain calm. The situation we're in is far from normal and we might never get used to it. Hope the help comes soon. When we woke up today, we discovered that Sharikov somehow found its way back to our shelter. Does that mean it'll stay for good? We're not sure what exactly transpired between the little guy and its owner. We asked, but it wouldn't tell. Timmy might not look like it, but he's a strong young boy. Everyone's fine. Yeah. She needs food. Yep. State of the wasteland remains unknown to us. Maybe we should risk it and go, oh, send Timmy out. He's in good health and full of optimism. He still looks tired. But it says he's in good health and full of optimism. Give him a ga- gas mask or a radio, which do you think? Oh, this isn't what we're going to. Oh, okay. This is just this decision. Everything is shaking. Cans are jumping all over the place. If this had happened after we drank that delicious wine for supper a few weeks back, it would seem perfectly normal. It's either another nuke or a quake. Either way, we need to grab something before everything gets smashed to pieces. What's more important to say, the gas mask or the radio? I would say the radio. Yeah. Gas mask is broken, though. Earthquake or not, nothing is going to stand between us on our daily dose of radio static. We were able to grab it before it could fall down and get smashed. Something else might be broken, but we won't know until we've cleaned this place up. Um, Timmy needs Timmy a drink. to drink. Dolores needs to eat. eat. And drink. And drink. Uh, everyone needs to drink, and Dolores needs to eat. Gun, I guess. Go on, then. We're not too ill, by the look of it. We're tired. Tired, but... But it's a fucking... Nicole Timmy went out. Them, so. We they don't know what it'll do if he doesn't come back. Hopefully we get a map. Today the music from the radio stopped abruptly and instead we got to listen to, to transmission the from the army. We were almost halfway to the door when they started talking about evacuation. We've had this before. Okay. We really need a map. Do you think Timmy's going to come back with one in time? He's not, is he? No. We've got enough right. food and water and we're not ill. Yeah. We're just it's true. tired. So hopefully Everyone we'll get a map. Right. And then we just have to wait until another transmission, don't we? Yeah. Loud crash, surprise shriek, and a bit of debris falling from our ceiling. Oh, we've beaten a record. Truly a recipe for a good start to the day. As it turns out, Sherikov found a new toy, a bit of innocuous wiring that it ripped out of the wall. Who knows what the cable's for, but our lights are still on, so it can't be that important. Right. Should we take the wire away from our fluffy friend and investigate it? Sure. Hopefully we don't electrocute ourselves, but it should not be too much of a problem. Might lead us to something. We followed the wire outside and found a half-burned-out truck with two surprised gentlemen inside, surrounded by an array of blinking bulbs. That's some space tech right there. Were they listening in on us in our very own shelter? Their feeble excuse about a roadside picnic didn't convince us. Even Timmy knows you can't have picnics here. And the car had no wheels. So water for Dolores. And both water for both of them, actually. Still got enough. The agents who are spying on us are now at the door and want to explain themselves. Should nope. we hear them out? No. Nope. Mm, probably not. Fuck the government. <laughs> Yeah, we're not falling for that top secret agent crap. They're just big phonies. We told them to go straight to hell and never come back. Everyone's fine. Nothing happening. We wish we could just leave. Yeah. Driving is crazy. Yeah, I want cake as well, actually. We've got, like, caramel donuts downstairs. Oh, yeah. Day 37. <laughs> you just got a boost in a will to live. <laughs> as long as we're safe, we can stay down here. Nothing new. Everyone's fine. We're we on to day 38. We could really use some more supplies. Counted all of them today and the numbers did not make us happy. Time to do something right. about it. We know that a teacher from the local school managed to rescue a bunch of kids and lead them to a nearby building where they're relatively safe and we could really use whatever they have. Okay. We could really use it, right? Old people are more willing to kill than a bunch of kids. And we got enough supplies. No offence, old people. But you're not a demographic, <laughs> so it's fine. <laughs> Joking. Maybe. Uh, let's let's not kill them because I think we've got enough supplies to survive. Yeah, I'm wondering why it's saying we could really use some more supplies. Because it's bored water and it wants us to escape. Oh, no, we've got plenty of water as well. Robbing innocent people, absolutely not. We are not savages. We cannot we stick that low. People, it's you know important why to keep our values even in these troubled times, especially in these troubled times. Let's set a shiny example and leave these poor people alone. They both drink, 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 drink. Sounds like you on the Saturday night. Playing a game or two might be a good way to relieve the mood and take our minds off the problems of today and tomorrow. And hey, playing games is good for you, so why not give it a try every now and then? What's the car for? Playing with traffic. They're just doodling. I think they're losing their mind a bit. Timmy's back, I think. Yes. Day 39. Oh, what's he got? Let's uh, playing so cards. We're in a bunch of water. Yeah, we need no a map. map. Played hide and seek. The longest round we were able to play lasted down ten seconds. That's only because the lights went out for a moment. Timmy's back, and it might sound paranoid, but we think someone followed us. Him. Let's just hope this doesn't happen again. During our expedition, we stumbled upon the ruins of a familiar building, our local bank. Uh, although a place like that might not be the ideal su- source of useful supplies, we decided to go in anyway. You never know what you might find, except for bags of cash, obviously. It looks like the bank was robbed just before the blast. The vault was cracked open with saws hidden in teddy bears. Who does that? Anyway, we can see why they wanted to rob it so badly. The place was filled with tomato soup cans. How did it end up here? Another four? Maybe the the mail had had it delivered to a bank instead of a food bank. (laughs) 
We found a shopping bag on the floor next to the counters. It contained a couple of rotten bananas, a hand cream pair of bunny slippers, and some bottled water. Tempting as all of these treasures may have been, we limited ourselves to taking the water. So this is how they guarded the place. Unacceptable. In the guard room, we found skeletons of two individuals who seemed to have been playing cards when the bombs hit. Good thing we kept all of our money in a really safe place. That is our special cookie jar in the kitchen. Those guards didn't provide much security here, but their cards will contribute to a high-quality shelter. Feed. Everyone hungry. Everyone. <laughs> Awfully quiet no outside. outside. Maybe it's safe. Yeah. No. Or Trash out. cans becoming full of empty soup cans. Strangely glowing, suspiciously big insect wildlife. Roaches weren't that big before the war, were they? Killed them. Oh, that's a good Got idea. Boys. Day 40. <sighs> Last man standing. We dodged a bullet this time. That is if a bullet was huge, hairy, had eight legs and a glowing head. Hopefully we don't have to deal with them again. Roaches don't have eight legs, but okay. Looks like... Sh yeah, but they might do after a nuclear war. Looks like Sherikov snucked out to... Snucked out? To hunt out in the wasteland last night. This morning we found a dead glowing rat on our doorstep. Sherikov seemed pleased with his gift for us and quickly expressed his disappointment when we threw it far away from our home. Nothing good will probably come from touching dead radioactive rodents though, so maybe we should have just left it where we found it. Timmy's hungry. Dolores is sick. Oh, so people can just get sick without any... Well, maybe she was the one that threw the rat. Maybe. Touched the rat. Are you going to treat her. Sure. Uh, let's just hope we don't need it again for us. On our way from the last expedition, we noticed some drawings on a half-ruined wall nearby. Oh, it was a very crude map of our town, and one place was marked with an X. Uh, maybe we should go and check, because I'm wondering if that might be where the... Um... I think Dolores was the... Not the last person to go, but like, um, Ted and... Uh, Timmy, I think, went before her on the expedition, so she's probably in the best condition. Actually, no, she's sick, isn't she? Uh, we'll send Ted. Well, because Timmy yeah, just came back from an expedition. Ooh, he's got quite a beard there. <laughs> hmm. We're lucky to have spotted that map. The spot marked a small hiding place, and we found some useful supplies there. More poison, not an actual. Map. Um, give Timmy some food and water, and give Dolores water. Oh, and Dolores. She's cured. There's a disturbing doodle there, though. Mm. <laughs> Seems awfully quiet outside. Should we, we go again? Yeah, send him out again. We didn't think we'd get a chance to increase our food supply by simply playing a card game, but that's what we were offered by a man who knocked on our door today. Two cans of food. We win, we get his two cans. We lose, we give him our two cans. Are we going to do it? I think we've got enough cans here to risk it. If you want. By the looks of it, we got the cans. Luck has smiled on us. We won a vicious game of war. The man wasn't too happy about it, but he delivered on his promise. Dolores is Everyone's fine. fine. He should take the gas. Oh, no, that's broken. Gun, then. Probably. Yeah. Oh, that's the, going to the radio. thingy again, isn't it? There's still no map. We were able to receive another message from the again. government. The military's preparing a rescue mission. They want all survivors to head to a specific location in the area, then leave a sign that someone is still alive and kicking nearby. We again yeah. don't have it. So hopefully he comes back with a map, because otherwise we're screwed. <laughs> Give it a fucking map. Day 44. But we've got enough supplies. We were sure we could find the location with a map. We were wrong. Water. Water. Just water. We've got enough water to survive, but it wouldn't be bad to have some more. Not the best time or place. To make plans for the future, but we can't help thinking about what can we can make of this terrible situation. Is our house still standing or we will have to move to some forsaken hole like Toronto? <laughs> Toronto's actually quite nice. Have you been there? No, I just know that Canada's... Day 45. Is that not where the Sears Tower is or is it Ontario? CN Tower. CN Tower. Where's the Sears Tower then? Sears Tower. Yeah, S W -E R S. I uh, think it's in New York. Maybe moving away won't be too bad. We can probably make new friends, meet new people, provide anyone is still alive that yeah, is. It used to be the world's tallest building until. Timmy might not look like it, but he's a strong young boy. Discussing plans for our first meal that didn't feature tomato soup when we heard yells from outside, we discovered they came from a small, ragged group of survivors. Or might give a us a map. group of ragged survivors. Give them a can of soup. Okay. I think last time they gave us a map. Did Come they? On, map, 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 map. Day 46. No map. Smiles and hugs exchanged. They wished us all they the best. Okay, give us nothing, any. man. Thanks. Timmy's, Timmy's hungry. hungry. All hands on deck. There are people on the other side of the door and they don't seem too friendly. In fact, they promised us a painful death at least 17 times already and it's only been five minutes since they arrived. We better prepare. They're forcing that door open any minute now. Well, let's hope that lock's strong enough because it's all we have to defend ourselves with. The lock's gone, but Pacifist. we're all right. Unbreakable. We were able to fight off the bandits this time, but there's no guarantee they won't come back. We need to be prepared at all times. 
We didn't think that a small padlock would stop them, but it turned out to be enough to discourage the unknown attackers. It seems that they gave this whole break in a fair shot, but ultimately gave up and left. Too bad that padlock is in no shape to be used again. We need to think of other ways to fight off the bandits and other soup-hungry barbarians. Water, water, water. What do you want about? There it goes again. Noises, weird noises all the time. Are they coming from the pipes, the walls? Is it something behind the door? We don't know, and it's driving us insane. We should sit down and relax, otherwise we might get paranoid. Play a game of checkers. Yeah, that's relaxing, isn't it? Well... Depends how intense you are. Day 48. Um, we haven't broken it, so... Having some fun made us forget about... What was it again? Despite the dire circumstances, all the trouble we're going through... Everyone's alright. Timmy's brave. Let's so hope Ted gets by soon. We're a fucking map. Ted, come back. Sherikov seems to be fond of our checkerboard. Its favourite game during stretches of extreme boredom and silence in the shelter is pushing the checker pieces off the table as it gazes intently at whoever happens to be sitting the closest. The sound of checkers hitting the floor every ten seconds is getting on our nerves and we're considering taking the game away. Should we let Sherikov play with the checkers? Now, do we go insane or do we let the cat claw out our eyes? Let's let it play with the checkers. Okay, It'll well, it up, if we uh, murder each other then... Well, we've still got the cards. Yeah, but if we keep hearing that coming on the floor... We oh, yeah, that's true. Insane. Day 49. They don't seem to have gone too insane. It was very unwise of Ted to walk right into the hands of a gang of filthy bandits camped nearby. He's not oh, coming right. back. The game as hasn't ended, though. As soon so. as we allowed him to play with the checkerboard, Sherikov instantly got bored of it. It did sit on top of it for a whole afternoon, though, leaving us with no entertainment whatsoever. The selfish bastard. At least he didn't break anything. Timmy is good. Ted's not commotion above, and we're pretty sure it's a band we of have, raiders. We have to send Dolores herself, I think. Yeah, go on then. Oh, it might be quite dangerous right now. Yeah, maybe not. It might be, but did... You did did it not say that Ted was possibly with a band of raiders? They possibly got killed by them. Yeah, but if he had, the game would be over, wouldn't it? No, I think I was wrong about that. All right, okay. But I don't think it's alarm. A someone's trying to break in, and they're not alone. We better get ready, or else we might end up dead. Oh, well, we have or nothing. Worse. Okay, so let's hope so, they don't kill us, because then it'll be the end. Of the... the We're end. dead. This is the end. We got an achievement though. This is the end. Our shelter was penetrated by bandits. There was nothing we could have done. It's over for us. We're doomed. doomed. 50 days isn't bad. Yeah. Though. It's, it's um, we really needed... It's a third better than we did last time, isn't it? Don't make me do No, this. it's half as much again. I think if you want government aid, you either have to get the flashlight or the map and hope that... That could have all been very different if we'd just taken a map with us at the beginning. Yeah, but I couldn't find a map. <laughs> all right. The thing is that you don't know where everything in the house is. Oh, right, they're in random places, are they? Okay. I was probably oh, well, we improved. Yeah, and we did actually have quite a few supplies, but I think if you leave it too long, bandits will eventually take over the wasteland. Yeah. Okay. Not exactly a happy ending, but... No, but it's not exactly a happy beginning either, is it, really? Nah, we did learn some useful things for the no-deal Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not. Or the Trump presidency. Which is the month after next. Shit. <laughs> You perished. That looks a bit like Dolores. This is a pretty brutal game, though. Fun, though. Yeah. Better than doing it in real life. Yeah. You should watch um, When the Wind Blows. When the Wind Blows. Yeah, it's an animated um, film about uh, an elderly couple in a fallout shelter trying to survive a nuclear winter. It's jolly. Is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very good film, though. It won awards. I am very well. I've been the orbiter. And this has been a nuclear apocalypse. <laughs> a fart from the overdue there. <laughs>